What's going on? We back with the Boxing Clinic. Good morning, it's your boy CJ Goodfellow. One time for the one time we grinding. Switching gears from boxing to the NBA. And uh, according to Bleach Report, <laughs> it's some gossip, I guess. Uh, uh, Trish and Thompson uh, allegedly, quote, rumored to have punched Draymond Green in a nightclub in L.A. I guess it was last night. I linked the article from Bleach Report in a description. Now, what, hap- what allegedly happened was... Draymond Green was trying to apologize to Tristan Thompson for dissing him after game four when the Warriors swept the uh, Cavs. And what happened was, um, you know, he was Draymond was giving everybody dap. He got to Tristan Thompson. He said, no, nah, man. He said uh, Thompson was like a fake. He was weak or he was soft. He said he don't mess with soft dudes like Tristan Thompson. And that kind of stemmed from Tristan Thompson dry snitching on players cheating on their girlfriend or wives in the NBA when they on the road because he got caught cheating on his wife or whatever, the card, Khloe Kardashian, Courtney, whoever he messing with. And uh, a lot of players didn't like Tristan Thompson after that. He tried to throw all the players under the bus, saying that everybody be doing it. He said something like that. So Draymond, you know, you know, was vocal. He said he don't mess with guys like him, you know. So, you know, Draymond apparently tried to go up to Tristan Thompson and apologize to him multiple times at a nightclub, say, dog, he ain't me, I ain't mean it, bro. When you publicly embarrass somebody like that, dog, ain't no ain't no going back, man. Tristan Thompson, he probably thought Thompson was a real simp, which he is, but he seems to have some type of uh his heart pump a little bit more than Kool-Aid, you know what I'm saying? His heart might pump some uh some damn clear fruit or something, you know what I'm saying? A little, a little bit gray high. He might his heart might pump a little bit of Coca-Cola, you feel me? And um about the second or third time when Draymond tried to apologize to him, he stole him, he punched him, apparently allegedly. Punched Draymond, and um, and they said Draymond didn't go down or nothing like that. So I don't know if Draymond was drunk or Draymond was just trying to make amends. But at the end of the day, you dissed me on national television not once but twice. You dissed me twice. So you think you think we about to be cool? Absolutely not. We're not about to be cool, bro. No, what? No two ways around it, dog. You know, and Draymond gotta stop playing that tough guy role. You know what I'm saying? If you are gonna be tough in the public and be tough on Instagram and Twitter and be tough and play tough on the court. You know, you're going to have to live up to that reputation. You punching college kids, then, you know, Tristan Thompson punched you. you he, I would have punched him straight back. But and I, don't, I didn't hear that. Uh, according to the uh, the rumor, I don't think Draymond punched him back. But at the end of the day, you talking tough, live up to your reputation. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You feel me? I mean, you know, your word is your word. When you publicly embarrass a grown man like that and Tristan Thompson, even the guy that's as people seem that's as soft and a, a dry snitching guy like Tristan Thompson, that's how they feel about him. Even him, even he got some damn, got some nuts and some testosterone in the system. He going to stand up for himself at the end of the day. He a multimillionaire just like you. And he a man just like you. He feel like he, he hard just like you. He just, he, he didn't like it. I ain't like it. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't like what Thompson did, so I thought it was funny. You know, I heard dry snitching on players because you got caught cheating. You know what I'm saying? And then he just punched Draymond, so... You know, Draymond going around trying to play tough tone and got dealt with, man, and got punched in the club. You know, I don't know why he was trying to go around and ask for for Thompson's uh, forgiveness. I don't, I don't get that. You dissed him at the end of game four on national television. Then you narrate why you dissed him, say I don't mess with guys like that. When y'all got y'all parade celebration, you think he supposed to be like, all right, yeah, yeah, okay, we cool, everything Gucci, um, yeah, yeah, everything all love, yeah, we cool. No, Thompson feels some type of way because you publicly embarrassed him, man. You know, he got kids. He got a girl, a wife, whatever that girl is to him. No, man, he probably had to go back in the locker room. They probably was clowning him. You know, his boys was clowning him when he got to the crib. He's probably saying, well, you know, that's time I see Draymond, it's on. He probably think, I'm going to drop 20, 30 on Draymond. He ain't probably never dropped 30 points in his career. But I'm going to kill Draymond next time I see him. LeBron ain't here. I'm going to give him buckets. I'm going to show him that Tristan Thompson Kardashian ain't, he ain't to be messed with. He so happened to run across Thompson at a club, and Draymond came up to him, you know, asking him for an apology. He said, you know what, this, you know, it came up the first time. He probably was like, man, I don't know why you're trying to apologize to me, dog. I got this lick in my system. I got this hand, dog. I ain't even messing with Draymond. He, Draymond came back. He said, you know what, dog, let me sit my hand down, bro. Pat, pat. He was probably like, pat. Draymond was like, oh, you know. And uh, Tristan Thompson like, I had to deal with that, man. You know, don't come at me on no drunk. He probably was on some drunk shit, dog. Truth be told, and Tristan probably feeling good and just let that right hand go. Bam. Draymond was like, well, you know, started crying. So he got what he deserved, man. You don't never publicly embarrass a guy twice. 
And then try to come back and uh, apologize a couple months later like I'm supposed to forget about it. LeBron then left too. You know, I, we ain't going to no more finals or nothing like that. Oh, yeah, he know he was in the club feeling good. He, feel, he was feeling good. He was drinking. He was drowning his own tears with LeBron being gone. Nights like this, NBA finals are gone. <laughs> he know he about to be the number one pick, the bottom of the East, the bottom of the NBA. So he was already drinking them sorrows away, man. So, you know, Welvin got dealt with, a.k.a. Draymond. You know what I'm saying? He ain't fired back, allegedly to the rumor. He just took it on the chops, and he's going to be the fake tough guy that he is, man. You know what I'm saying? All that talking on the court, all that, that yip yapping. Pam, pow, pow, pow. He got dealt with. You know what it is? It's the Boston Clinic and more. I linked the article to the description so you know that it's trill. Right now, it's allegedly rumored. That's the asterisk right there. But we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Go ahead and check us out right there. All those links into the is in the description. Also, check out our new Raw and Uncut podcast. Hopefully, we can record some more um, some more uh, episodes tonight. Me and the Cali Enigma, myself, is rated triple R, not for kids' ears. Also, check out our new college sports page, S12T and College Sports Most Wanted. All those links are in the description. They all label so you know what is what. Continue to subscribe to, to the channel if you haven't. Uh, continue to share, share, share. That's really, really big on how we can grow. And y'all know what the business is. I appreciate everybody. Shout out to the Lions Den Boss community. And uh, Draymond got pow, 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 pow. We gone.